Hey, welcome, welcome. I'm feeling like doing something today. And uh, I'm going to show you what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about this old sink here. Maybe remember me changing the sink out. took some uh, cement and cemented that on there. I know I could go buy, I'm not going to buy nothing, this stuff's all I've got. And I put a uh, sheetrock screw in there to hold it and cement it. And, and I'm gonna, all this stuff I've just got here. I'm going to put a, an elbow there to point it get it pointed down. Okay. Okay, we got the pipes cut. I ain't glued them down yet. I'll glue those down. And then I, I'm gonna put this piece so it'll go in into uh, that uh, drain pipe. Okay, let's glue all that together. Okay, I got that glued on there. I'm not gonna glue this one. I'm just gonna stick it in there and into the drain pipe. All right. Now yeah, let's see if we can find something to uh, fix these holes with. Okay, this was all I could find. I wished it hadn't been wood, but it'll probably hold up for a while. I had that piece of uh, plastic, but when I went to cut it, it broke. But this will give a bigger shaft. I'm gonna put this uh, bucket right up here for a water supply. Right here, I've got this spigot I'm going to hopefully put on it, you know, there. And, of course, I'm going to let it rain in here. And, of course, if you don't have any water, just go over to the faucet and get some water and put in it. That's my idea. Right now, I'm going to fasten this wood, this plank down to it. Yeah. This board. This is just going outside just to wash your hands in. So I ain't doing too particular with it. I'm gonna drill a couple of holes here. To uh, mount this with. Well, 
later on if I run across something uh, better, I can always change it out. on this now yeah, it's just something other to do with this use this old sink for besides just throwing it in the trash or something and tighten those up. I, uh, I found this rubber material there and I thought, well, since I got it, I don't even remember what this was. But anyway, I thought I'd just cut out a piece and put it over the top of it. Kind of protect the wood a little bit. I think I'll just take these bolts I just put out in and just let it hold it on there. That kind of give it a little protection from the weather. Okay, let's see if we can do that. Yeah, hard to see my phone. I got sawdust on my hand too. Yeah. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna just leave that long there and see how it works out. Got these two bag bolts to hold it down. And there's where my uh, water container is gonna stand. And hopefully I can put this here. This is the only thing I had to buy. I think this is about six bucks. I didn't have an old uh, water faucet. Okay. So, let's have a look around here. So I got the drain there. And this piece I'll show you when I put it in there. I'm going to put it down there. And I'm not going to glue it so I can take it loose if I need to. Well, that should make use of an old sink rather than make some good out of it. Okay. I took uh, one of these bits and drilled a hole in this bucket. I had this bucket. I think they had it at Walmart for $1.88 or something. And I was painting. I got it for a paint bucket. And I've had it for a while. And uh, got this uh, three-quarter inch here and we'll put this through here and uh, I've got some of this aquarium sealant that's something to keep around the house it will seal out water uh, I always keep a tube ahead uh, I used it to glue on a tombstone probably six seven years ago and it held up uh, mariner land aquarium sealant and i'm going to put a bead of head around here to seal it and of course this has got a gasket in here i'll probably have to get this unstopped before i can use it oh i got this unstopped put a bead
it'll take it till tomorrow before that's sealed up good. But uh, everything I've used it on, I've used it on a shower, like I said, that tombstone. And I mean, it is held, especially where there's water involved. Okay. That's what it looks like on the inside. Now, I'm going to get some screen wire and see if I can put it around the top here. Uh, what I'm thinking is uh, if i got screen wire on it, when it rains, it'll fill it up. And, uh, of course, if I need water in it, I'll just pick it up and carry it to the hose of the faucet. Uh, but with a screen around it, it'll keep mosquitoes out of it, hopefully, so it ain't a mosquito bed and everything else, birds and everything else. So that's my next step is see if I can get a piece of screen wire and strap it here. Okay. We got this screen, which I already had. I always keep the screen. This happens to be that uh, uh, fiber type screen, which may be better for this keep insects and stuff out of it. Trim this around here. something down to strap that down with. Okay, I clamped this screen on with these and I took a piece of heavy wire and put it down under the rim and twisted it on this side. Uh, got it underneath the rim to kind of hold it down. water in there. It shouldn't have to take that off. And that should that should keep the uh, mosquitoes out of it. Tighten this up just a little bit more. There we go. Way it can rain in it. You can fill it up with water. And hopefully they'll keep the mosquitoes out of it. Like I said, it's just a bright idea. We'll see how it goes. If it don't work, we'll do something else. Worst come to worst, we can drag the water hose over. That's what I'm thinking. Then you can wash your hands out here and not be going in the house or something other than dirty, dirtying everything up. And we'll get we'll get it around there. We'll probably attach this some way. So it don't slide around. Okay, we got it back around here where, where it's gonna go. I wound up having to glue these pipes. Uh, one of them I forgot to glue. I only got a second to dry there. And there we go. Drain pipe will go down and go into a, uh, a uh, well, I'll show you here. It's going to go in that, that black drain pipe there. There's my uh, bucket. 
snap the handle back in it. See how that works out. It's kind of an experiment. And you see the shop. It's just right there so we can come out here and wash our hands and not be messing up the sink in the house. There we got it sitting in there. And you can see down here how I got the drain pipe into that drain. Hey, it's getting awfully hot out here. I am going probably to wait till in the morning when it's cool and let this bucket dry. And then uh, I'm going to do something with that bucket to fasten it. And I'm going to move some of that stuff, some of that yard art around. But it's so hot out here now till uh, you can't hardly take it. But anyway, that's pretty good for a little bit of work. Should be good for something. Probably need to find me a drain plug. I think I've got one out there in my stash. All right. Okay, it's the next morning. We had rain last night. Uh, finish this up. Let's see there how. Put the drain in that other drain pipe. And uh, the bucket's got a little water in it. So it did catch a little rain. I'm going to take it over here and uh, see if we can fill it up with a water hose. Okay. If I can do this with one hand here, maybe. Yeah. It seems to be going in it. Do with one hand. Found out it fills up better without the uh, sprayer on it. Be good if you could see through it. You can tell it's full because it was running out the side. Okay. Full of water there. Should be able to wash your hands with that. I'm going to put a couple of screws in the fence to hold it up there and see if I can put something there to uh, hold, hold it there so it, uh, when it is out of water it won't get knocked off or blowed away or something. Okay. Pretty well satisfied with that. 